everybody, Cindy Otter here with my Artsy Endeavors. How are we doing today? I'm doing pretty good. Um, okay, that's a lie. I'm in a lot of pain. <laughs> but you know what? It is what it is. There's nothing I can do about it at this point. So, hey, we're just going to live with it. Um, this week, we are... Whoops, that's June. We don't want May. Where are we? May. Here's May. Um, this week, we're talking about... Um, actually, this month is about passion. And this week's prompt is storm. Now, if you guys remember last week, I actually talked about how the actual, the sun uh, makes me feel happy and calm and, and, and no, there's no anger and it makes me feel better physically, mentally, the whole nine yards, right? Well, this week is about storm. So I've got this gray piece here. Ugh, let me move this out of the way. Um, this book is only going to have to be um, January through June because that's all it's going to fit in here. So I actually have another one of these binders that I'll be using for the rest of the year. But for now, we're going to talk about storm. So what happens with chronic pain when it storms? I'm pretty sure you guys can all guess. <laughs> it's um, excruciating. It's no fun. It um, hurts and it hurts really bad. So, uh, yeah, that in a nutshell is storm. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw some paints on here. Uh, these are actually Lucas um, that I got at Jerry's Artorama. This one is mauve. Um, I bought these quite a while ago, and I only bought two, my two favorite colors at this point, or at that point, uh, purple and blue. Some type of a purple and blue are my, my go-tos at this point. Um, or a teal. This is more of a teal. So I'm just putting a little bit of those paints down here. And then I also have this uh, Dina Wakely, which is lapis. And I don't want that one. I want the night. Which one's this? There it is. Okay, sorry. I want the night. Um, the night is a real dark, dark blue. Almost like a, almost a black. But I want this. So I'm going to put a little bit of this on here. See how dark it is? It looks black. And it's not really black. Okay, and what we're going to do... We had a bunch of paper towels over here I need to use up. Um, we are going to make ourselves the perfect storm, right? So let's take, we've got a, uh, da, 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 da. where's my other scissors? I need, hmm. they're not in here. Let's use these. Um, we're just going to take the sponge. I'm going to cut the end of it off because it feels kind of crunchy. And I've got to the point where when they feel crunchy like that, I just cut the end of them off because if not, what they do is they'll shred on the paper when you're using it to push and then it'll leave all these little bits and pieces. So just a little tip. You know, don't just throw them away. You know, these things cost money. So, all right, there we go. So let's play around with this. We're gonna make ourselves a perfect storm, right? That's what's happening here. We are going to have a perfect storm. Um, let me put this on something because I, I know there's going to be extra paint on there. Where's my book? Where's my book? All right, let's just use a dictionary page. Uh, let's use this one. This one's got stuff on it. So we're just going to use this. And we're going to make ourselves a perfect storm. So what happens to you when um, it's rainy and nasty and, and, you know, do you have your perfect storm where your body is saying, <laughs> I don't think so, we're not doing this today? I do. Um, as a matter of fact, this last Sunday was one of those days because um, I was actually at my friend's house. And my it was raining and it rained pretty much all day and oh my gosh did my body not like that at all all right i guess i'm worrying too much about this let's just get this going here so yeah there's there's those storms when i just you know it's awful you can't you can't do anything you can't um you can't move you know, it's it's like our bodies are automatic barometers and they don't they don't enjoy 
the wet. At least mine doesn't. Some people may, you know, feel better when it storms. I don't know. Personally, me, no. It hurts. Stay there. Stay there for a moment. I just want to kind of just kind of even it out a little bit because I'm going to add some different colors on here. So yeah, that's what happens to me in a storm. And that's how I'm going to take um, this week's prompt. So we're going to make ourselves a storm. All right, let me dry this up really good and I'll be right back. All right, so it's pretty well dry. Now, um, I actually have a few stencils here. Um, this one is a uh, from Stencil Girl. And it's S354, and I love it. It just it looks like a storm to me. I have this one as well, which is from Stencil Girl, and that's an S525. That one's cool. And then I have this one. I think this is, the, um, yeah, the Crafters Workshop, and it's TCW662S, as in Sam. And these are the ones I'm going to use. So the first thing I want to do is I want to start out. I've, I'm going to use three colors. I'm going to use the teal again. I'm going to use the Deco Art White, um, Snow Titanium White, and then I'm going to use the Senelier. I can never say this word. Senelier. I think I'm saying it right. Um, iridescent Pearl. So let's start out with the turquoise. So I'm just going to throw a little bit here on my book I've been using as a palette. And don't yell at me. I will reuse the paper. And this is a really old dictionary. And I don't know many people that look at dictionaries anymore. So I'm using it. And I'm just going to play around on this with the background. Um, this sponge I picked up at the dollar store. I wanted to see if it would work better um, for, you know, my stenciling. Just I just wanted to see. For a buck, hey, I'll try anything once. So let's just throw some teal on here. And I just kind of want to get it of an, an overall, just a light, light background. So we did that. Now I want to use this one. And this one I want to use with the white and the teal. So I'm just going to, i got to add a little bit more teal over here. Just a touch. Perfect. And I'm liking these bottles. All right, let's just put a little bit of white here. And I'm going to use the same sponge and just blend them together, the teal and the white. And I just kind of want light. I don't want, yeah. I'm only using one of the... That's all right. It's okay. It's all good. Just to put some some more contrast to the background and just play. Right? Okay. So that's all I want with that one. And now I'm going to use this one. Now this one I want to use this, at, this uh, pearl in. So I'm going to stick with the white and the turquoise, and I'm just going to add the iridized pearl to it. And let's see what it does. I'm, I'm interested to see what this does. So it's the white, the teal, and the iridized pearl. If it does what I think it's going to do, it should be pretty cool. Yeah, it's going to kind of give it a little, kind of a sparkleish. like it. Right? Okay. So I'm just going to finish cleaning off my sponge here on this page. And again, it's no big deal because I will use this. Now see, that just shows you how much paint is in your sponge. This is where I put the paint down. But all I'm doing is just rubbing it. And this shows you just how much paint is left in there. Isn't that crazy? Look at that. All right. So that's pretty much cleaned out. So I'm going to dry this real quick. I'll be right back. All right. So um, this is all dry now. I found a quote that I want to use. And what I did is I took this is a um, Diane Reevely uh, journaling block. And I just went through and I wrote, uh, I did a few lines for the quote. So um, I want to...
I'm just kind of plotting out uh, where my words are going to go. And you guys know my handwriting is not the best, but hey, it is what it is. Um, hang on just a minute. And you guys will see this in a minute. I'm going to go over it in white pen. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a white, hopefully this will work, a white paint pen, Molotov marker, and make sure this works. <laughs> All right, we're going to try it. Let's hope it doesn't matter. Let's hope it doesn't mess up. So the quote is grow. And I'm going to go back over these and fix them and make them bigger and whatever. But um, right now I'm just putting down the main words. If this will work for me, I get frustrated with these things. See, it adds. Just getting frustrated. See the it, it. <laughs> so far it says grow stronger from the pain. And once I get my Molotov working again, I wonder if it's because the ball's not moving. Hold on, guys. Let me see if I can beat it up. Actually, let's see if I can use this one instead. Nope, same thing. This one's almost out of ink, though, so that's not a good example. Yeah, this is what I go through every time I go to write something on my pages. Now you see why I don't write things on my pages, because it drives me crazy. It's not going to work. Um, I'm going to go back to this. Hang on, let me see if I can get this thing rocking. Hold on. Okay, it helps when I get the paint moving in the pen. Um, I've been able to write a little bit better. So basically the quote is, grow stronger from the pain, don't let it destroy you. So um, that is a huge lesson that I've had to learn with the chronic pain. Let me just hit this. And let me tell you, it's not easy. You don't learn it overnight. It takes time to learn how to do that. Um, and you know, when I when I did this, when I learned how to grow with the pain, it um, has made my life much more bearable. 
Uh, am I pain free? Absolutely not. I deal with more pain than I feel I should have to, but um, it definitely has helped me. I've learned how to handle the pain, how to weather the storm per se, how to accept that it's okay, that it's a Netflix day or a I'm going to lay on the couch and read a book kind of day. I have to accept that because if not, this storm is not going to make me stronger and the pain is not going to, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to learn from the pain. I'm not going to um, live a better life with the pain if I don't learn how to be stronger. So this is my, you know, my take on the actual storm prompt is, you know, we're all going to have those bad days, what I call storm days or just, just plain bad days. Um, we all have them. It's okay. That's the nature of the beast. And you know, one of the other things I, I, I saw this saying somewhere and I really, I really like it. And for people on the outside that are looking in, um, hang on just a second. All right. Sorry guys. We're in the middle of, um, selling our house up North and yeah, we've been having a lot going on, so I do apologize. I just told my husband, I said, stop, I'm filming. But anyways, um, what I was going to say is people on the outside, this is something that I say to them, um, especially if they don't understand, well, geez, why are you in you know, so much pain, is this chose me. I sure as heck didn't choose it because let me tell you, I would have chose something a lot more fun um, if I had a choice in the pain or no pain. So... Just, you know, keep in mind if, if you're not a chronic pain sufferer, but if you live or know somebody with chronic pain, they didn't choose this. This stuff just came to us and we're the unlucky ones to get it. Whoa, look at that. So that's what, some of these paint pens drive me crazy. But I got a big old blob right there. We'll spread it out a little bit. So yeah, it's a short and simple and sweet video this week because, you know, there's not a lot to say about um, the chronic pain storm that I haven't already said in a lot of my other videos, which is, you know, um, we didn't choose it, but we have to live with it. And definitely, you know, take your pain and I'm not saying, you know, oh great, I'm all happy because I hurt, you know, that's not the deal, but you have to learn how to live with it, how to accept it, how to, um, you know, how to learn how to manage it and learn how to weather the storms. We all have stormy days. You know, even people that are not in chronic pain, they've got stormy days. Sometimes people wake up and they just feel awful. And it's just one of those days. We all have them. So let's learn how to weather the storm and the chronic pain and let's not beat ourselves up over it. It is part of life, it's part of the beast, and we have to do it to survive, right? All right, so enough of that. I'm off my soapbox about chronic pain. <laughs> Sorry guys, it's you know something I'm very passionate about and I want people to understand that you know it, it, we live with it, we have to endure it. But this right here says it all. Grow stronger from the pain, don't let it destroy you, and basically weather this storm. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and flip it over and play around on the back side and we'll see what we come up with and I'll chat with you at the end. Enjoy!
Alright guys, so I just played around on the back. I just had some fun um, playing with, you know, the turquoise paint and some color shift paint. And, you know, I just, just played around. Alright, so um, this one says success is how high you bounce when you hit bottom. And I, you know, intentionally did the scribbly lines around here. I didn't, I mean, I didn't want it to just, I don't know. I don't want it to be perfect, do we? So, um, yeah, just add some more scribbly lines here and there, just because I can. Um, this one actually didn't get as much. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. And um, as always, like, comment, share, subscribe, and hit the thumbs up. And definitely share with your friends, especially anybody that's um, working through the chronic pain journey. And as always, have fun. That's what life's all about. And I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.